The book of Judges teaches us that when sin isn't dealt with properly, it grows. The book of Judges teaches us that we must break the cycle of sin and destruction. The book of Judges teaches us a principle. When God gives you a way out of an ungodly situation, stay out. The book of Judges teaches us that the more we feed our flesh, the more numb we become to the things of God. The book of Judges teaches us that we should not be dejected when we are rejected by our own. The book of Judges teaches us that we must develop an eye to recognize the spirit and not get caught up on the person. The book of Judges teaches us that sometimes our outrage is just a little too late. If you missed Thursday through the word last week, here is a clip of what you miss. Jesus did nothing to no one. He came through 42 generations to be able to come, to live, and to die, and to be buried, and to raise again on the third day. He came to help you and I, but his own people refused him and rejected him. In other words, whenever it is that someone rejects me, God has a way of flipping that thing around to where the same ones that push me away can't go further and do what it is they're trying to do without me. He said, I know, I know your perfect you. But the Lord said, the more I squeeze you, Smyrna, the more I squeeze you, myrrh, the more I squeeze you, perfume, I heard. I heard because the Lord want to know what you smell like. You can squeeze me and I'm going to smell like some worship. I'm going to smell like giving him some praise. What's that smell? Are you bitter? Are you broken? Are you defeated? But no, no, no. I smell like an overcomer. I smell like an overcomer. I smell this week, join us Wednesdays at 6 a.m. for morning prayer. The number is 904-512-0115, access code 140423. We are praying that we be set free from the spirits of anger, bitterness, and offense. From Proverbs 17, chapter and the 9th verse, to Hebrews the 12th chapter and the 15th verse. As you participate in our virtual worship experiences, we want you to check in to let our pastors know that all is well. Please tag a friend, tell everybody that you know, and don't forget to share this experience to your timeline. Write a review, follow, and subscribe to all of our social media sites. For those who aren't on social media, it's all good in the hood. You can call into the prayer line to hear the worship experience there. Pastor Kobe will be offering leadership training on next Sunday at 3 p.m. The training is open to everyone. The training is designed to equip you to grow personally and into leaders of today. If interested, please sign up at the Ask Me Anything table. Grief Recovery Class will be this Tuesday, August 9th at 7 p.m. All classes will be in-house. Sign up at the Ask Me Anything table. See RJ for more details. Singles, join us this Thursday, August 11th at 7 p.m. for date night as we discuss relationship goals. Tell a single, bring a single, and let's talk living single. Our Kids Zone and Lit Youth Empowerment Weekend will start with our Lit participating in the Hashtag I Pray Student Summit on this coming Friday, August 12th at 6.30 p.m. and on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. The Student Summit event is open to middle and high school students. This event will be followed by our Back to School Bash on Saturday, August 13th from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Where is everyone is invited? So kids, invite your friends to join you for some food, fun, and festivities. We will have a video game truck, mini motor cars, and other activities. Men, save the date for Man Cave Monday on August 15th at 7 p.m. Bring someone with you and dinner will be served. Our next round of discipleship development classes will start on Wednesday, August 17th. Classes will be held in-house and via Zoom. You may sign up at the Ask Me Anything table. See Sister Last for more details. TIL Ports, 
spoken word artists, writers, and poet leaders. Save the date for a creative arts event on Friday, September the 9th at 7 p.m. It's time for all to come out and play. If interested in participating in Open Mic, please sign up at the Ask Me Anything table. See Sister Jewel Harrell for more information. Outreach is having a children's clothing drive for infants to teen size clothing. All donations can be dropped off at the dome intake table. If you're interested in being baptized, please sign up at the Ask Me Anything table in the lobby or text the word baptism to 904-245-1089. Session 2 of New Members Connection class will be next Sunday. The class is open to everyone who has not previously completed the class. We are grateful to all who are committed to being a systematic giver of your tithe and offering. You can give via push pay by texting TIL Jacks to 77977 via the Truth and Love app and or our website at truthandlove.tv. You may also drop off your giving envelopes Tuesday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. and on Sundays between 9 and 12.30 a.m. Please use the blue envelopes for the expansion project. And if you're giving electronically, don't forget to select expansion project as you're giving. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Well, did you? Well, listen, if you didn't, you wrong for that. Listen, ask your family members, your friends, your co-workers, and your neighbors to become a subscriber. We want you to hear a fresh, relevant, and clear word from God because God is speaking. Amen. TIL, have you downloaded our new Truth and Love app? If not, go to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store and search for Truth and Love Ministries. You may either have to update or download the app. The app, as well as our website, is our central hub for all things Truth and Love. So we want you to get connected, okay? Here, Here comes, comes the, the church. church.